OK, so I realized it can be challenging to demonstrate how the training process looks like to stop your dog from the demand barking if my dogs don't do the behavior themselves. So in the past few weeks, I've purposefully pressed undo on all of my demand barking training by spoiling them as much as possible, giving in whenever they ask for something, and they have now turned into absolute monsters. So now they bark to ask to be fed when I'm trying to have a quick lunch, even though I just fed them literally two minutes ago when I go to my desk to work even though I was just playing with them. They also bark non-stop when I'm trying to get some sleep until I finally pay attention to them. So it will be the perfect opportunity for me to show you how the training works realistically. Are you ready for it? It's gonna be fun. So on the first day of training, they started barking around 4 a.m. Well, in this case, they bark because in the past few weeks, every time they bark or jump, I always pick them up on my bed and cuddle them so they get used to that. I know you might be like, why don't I sleep with them? The reason is that you have to be extra careful around these small fragile Pomeranians. You don't want to accidentally hurt them during the sleep. Also small dogs like this, if they fall down from your bed, it could be pretty catastrophic. Anyway, back to the barking. How to stop it? It's very simple. Remove the attention. Attention barking is also often called demand barking because your dog has learned through past experiences that barking will get them what they want. Either your attention, food, to get out their crate, to play, so on and so forth. So now when they bark, I want you to turn your bike on your dog and ignore them until they stop barking. I don't want even a single eye contact. Please look away and completely ignore your dog. I don't care how long it will take. It could be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes before they stop barking. At the beginning, after barking at you for a while and not getting what they want, your dog might get frustrated and start barking even louder. Don't freak out and give in at this key moment. This is called an extinction burst meaning an increase in the behavior before the dog finally learns that the behavior is not bringing them what they want and finally stop doing that. Attention barking is one of the easiest behavioral problems to solve and at the same time, one of the trickiest. It's easy because all that is required of you is to do absolutely nothing physically. But it's also very difficult because you have to be incredibly strong mentally so that you don't give in. So what are the most common mistakes that people often make when training their dogs to stop barking for attention. The first common mistake is that dog owners often get angry and start yelling at their dog after they've been barking for a while. And I want you to know that this is not going to work. And if anything, it's going to make the barking even worse because by yelling at them, first, you are feeding off their energy. Second, you are also giving them some sort of attention they ask for without even realizing it. So next time you feel like screaming at them for their annoying barking, Take a deep breath and keep on ignoring your dog. Another mistake that dog owners often make is that they begin to get a little bit too excited as soon as their dog stops barking and start giving them the attention right away, thinking that by doing so, they're rewarding the good behavior. While it's often true theoretically, if you're not careful about your timing, your dog could quickly learn that if they bark and then stop barking, they will get a reward. And then they will keep doing the behavior chain of barking and then quiet over and over again to maximize their rewards. Dogs are incredibly smart and chances are they will learn to game the system pretty quickly. So what I usually like to do is to keep ignoring them completely even when they have stopped barking, wait at least three seconds and until they have completely stopped barking and settled out before giving them any praise. I usually like to ignore them by turning my head completely to the other side. It's only when they calm down, stop barking, stop panting and lie down in a relaxed manner that I begin petting them slowly and gently with a calm energy and a calm voice. If you pet them in short and fast strokes yeah. or praise them in a loud and energetic voice, something like, yes, good girl, you can whip them up into a rough state again pretty quickly and they might stand up and go back to barking. So if you stay consistent and willing to endure the pain of listening to their barking for a while, the barking will stop in usually about two to three days in my experience. The key here is to consistently ignore ignore your dog whenever they bark for attention. If you ignore them for 90% of the time and give them attention for the other 10%, it's not going to work. If they know they're going to get what they want some of the time, they're going to keep barking and trying because it might result in a reward.
word for them every once in a while. So in their mind, it never hurts to try. If you find this video helpful, please click on the like and subscribe button to help us reach more people. Comment below what kind of behavioral problems your dog currently has and that you would like me to address in my next video. And I will make a video on solving the most requested behavior problem. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!